Today we are talking about adding multiple photos to Seesaw. I'm Angela and I work here at Seesaw on the teacher success team. I am coming from a classroom of 15 years of experience, mostly in kindergarten. So this is a question we get asked almost every single day. Can we add multiple photos to Seesaw? And the answer is yes, if you use another app first. So, Today's webinar is focused all about that. So again, here's me. You can connect with me on Twitter at Mrs. Gagkey or of course at Seesaw. Now I only have 10 minutes with you here today and I'm gonna show you some things really quick specifically about adding multiple photos. So my number one favorite tool of course is Shadow Puppet EDU. Um, this is the first app that the people here at Seesaw created actually and I fell in love with in my kindergarten classroom. It is available only on iOS devices. It allows you to add voice, music, video, and text. And again, of course, multiple photos. That's why we're here. You can also do some neat kind of pointing and zooming. You can do web searches that are already filtered for content and also capture maps as well. The great thing is that it saves directly to Seesaw. So when you get these slides, you can actually take a peek here at this screencast to show you exactly how to save to Seesaw, but I might actually demo that here live. Now, this is just a short list of some of the things that you can do incorporating Shadow Puppet and sharing it to Seesaw. So I use Shadow Puppet to make class books and slideshows. I actually did audio visual newsletters via Shadow Puppet all the time. Um, screencasts for instruction that I wanted students to check out. Or again, just a great way to do super simple digital stories. So if you're thinking, can a kindergartner really do this? I'm gonna say yes, yes, indeed they can. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna jump onto an iPad to show you this. So here I am in Shadow Puppet, and it is literally so simple. Again, very similar to Seesaw, you just add that, tap that green add button. Some fun little bitmojis. I'm just gonna tap next, and now I'm ready to get started. So I can up here add text, I can add music, I can tap right here and start recording my voice. Very similar to Seesaw. So I can pause my recording, I can turn the page and start the recording again, I can just keep talking. And basically what you end up with is this basically narrated slideshow. So this is, a, this is a way to share multiple photos to Seesaw. This is a great way if you have students that are um, you know, doing a story, even if they're using paper and pencil or crayons, it's a great way for them to capture that in multiple photos and add it to Seesaw. So this is actually processing right now. But what I love about using this tool is that, of course, it's super simple. You saw me there to show you. But you can also save directly to Seesaw as an option. And your class will actually pop up within the Shadow Puppet app here. So my internet must be being a little bit slow here in terms of this saving because that was not very long. But when you go and check out the slides here, you're gonna see exactly how to save it. And again, here's some links to a couple of ideas for you as well. So if you are on iOS, that is for sure, I love that app. Um, second idea is Pick Collage Kids. Now Pick Collage Kids, I love it for so many reasons. Um, Specifically because very similar to Seesaw, it's really open-ended in terms of you can do a lot with photos, um, but this one allows you to kind of do a little bit more personalizing, I would say. So this is available on iOS. Um, Pick Collage is also available on Android. The app I'm talking about specifically here is Pick Collage Kids because that is rated four plus. So if you are using regular pick collage, I'm pretty sure it's 12 plus rating um, in the app store. But again, you can get that on Android. Um, it allows you to make collages, change backgrounds, add stickers, text, do some web searching. And again, the way you share this to Seesaw is you save your product that you are creating in pick collage to the camera roll and then add it directly to Seesaw. So to just give you a couple ideas, and I'm gonna, again, demo this live for you. Um, this was in our CSA Teachers Facebook group. Mary Richards says, sure, share this idea. So she had her students on Earth Day. They were making pit collages, um, again, incorporating concepts about 
about Earth Day, and then they added it to CESA. So you see here on the left, she has a little video, actually, of a student. Once they've added it to CESA, they are adding their voice to it. So that's what I love about combining Pick Collage Kids and CESA is that you can add your voice to a project that you've already created, but there's also other tools in Seesaw that you can, you know, draw and record voice at the same time as well. Um, there's a couple of links here, this Rock Cycle project, I just actually grabbed this from Twitter this morning. Um, I believe this was maybe a high school or middle school teacher that was using um, pick collage to basically show their process of their rock, their rock cycle. So you can see all the pictures that they have submitted there. Um, and I use this in my kindergarten classroom for, you know, tons of different things. But this is a social story that I made for a student. So this again is multiple pictures added in pic collage and then I added it to Seesaw to add the voice component. So when you play it in Seesaw. Here's how you get ready for lunch and recess. First, Put your shoes on. Okay, so again, if I jump onto my iPad here and I go to Pick Kids, again, if you want to use it on Android, you would have to go to Pick Collage. I can just choose Freestyle. Again, this is not meant to be a whole entire demo of how to use the app, but you'll get the idea. I've added six photos. These are just little screenshots of tweets of people being so excited about our new release last week. I can go to Add and change the background. Um, but what I really want to show you is how you can easily get this to Seesaw. So say this is great, this is what you want to do. I'm just going to go in the bottom right and I am going to save this to my library. So once it's saved to my library, I can then go into Seesaw, add from my camera roll, and then I'm going to find that photo that I just added. And once it's in Seesaw, I can tap the mic, I could go to the drawing tools, I can record voice and draw because I'm on iOS. If you're not on iOS, you can still add voice, you can still draw. Um, again, that's another option for you as well. So I want to show you a couple of examples because I reached out to some of our amazing, not only Seesaw ambassadors, but also Pick collage ambassadors. So we have some more ideas for you here. So this is Cami Butterfield. If you don't follow Cami on Twitter, I would do that right now. Um, she just shared a couple different ways, not necessarily pictures, but just different ways she is combining pick collage and seesaw. Again, creating and doing a little app smashing. So you can watch this entire example. So basically, again, combining the two. This is more of an example of she's created this in pick collage, and then she has created by Cami, completed by Axon. Had the student added, and then they're basically going to be using the drawing features. Um, it is goes to it. Okay, so again, I'm just trying to get you a couple ideas to get started here. Um, Heidi is another Seesaw Ambassador and Pick Collage Ambassador. These are just a couple of ideas. Of course, she has a couple photos here that she's created in Pick Collage and saved it to Seesaw, as we have described. Uh, this one was with Lines of Symmetry. So this one, actually, she's done a couple couple things where it, I'm guessing she has also added some screenshots of other apps and added those multiple photos into the pick collage to go into Seesaw as well. The last tool that I want to talk about super quickly is Google Photos. Now Google Photos is something that can be used on iOS, Android, and the web, and it allows you to create albums or a quick collage or even an animation, and they have, if you're on a mobile device, they have the ability to create little movies, which are kind of um, slideshows with different effects, and those can also have music, there's some editing tools, but then the greatest thing is you can add all of your Go Google Photo albums or even the projects, add the link to Seesaw. So in order to do that, 
what you're going to want to do, and this is kind of the directions I captured if you're using a Chromebook or if you're on the web, once you choose an album in Google Photos or say, you know, you want to share multiple photos from a special event or a science experiment or a field trip, you would just go choose that album, tap share, copy the link, and then you open your Seesaw class and you paste the link in and then that Google, those Google photos are shared. So that is just another quick tip of sharing multiple photos to Seesaw. So I hope you walked away with three ideas of things that you could try. Um, again, on a couple of different platforms available to you for sharing multiple photos to Seesaw. And I hope someday we will have the ability to create and add multiple photos right within Seesaw. But this is our best go-to right now. So thanks for joining us here today and come back and see us another time for another PD in your PJs. We will send this recording and also post it on our website as well. Thanks everyone.